So what is IAM? So if you see the axis, the name axis tells that giving some permissions. For example, if you want to go to any office room, you will be having some authorization, right? Like yeah. you have to swipe your ID card, then only you will be uh, allowed to send inside the office room, right? Yeah. So here in IAM, similar kind of access to the users we need to give. We need to give certain policies to the users. Okay. For example, uh, we created our AWS with root user that they are admin user and normal users. Root user means admin user which has all the permissions. You, you just treat this as a principal in a college or principal in a school. Okay. What principal has all the access on the administration, right? He has all commands on the particular school. Yes. In the same way, root user has all the permissions, uh, all privileges to the account, AWS account. And there are normal users which we create inside the AWS account. Okay? Okay. We we have normal users who create them inside the AWS account and we give them we give them certain permissions, permissions on AWS services. You can call it as certain permissions or policies. In AWS terms, we call permissions as policies. Okay. We'll, we'll create a policy and we'll give permissions. Uh, now, we create a normal user. So, the difference between the normal user and root user is root user will have admin privileges. Normal users, whatever the, what are the permissions we are giving by admin, those permissions will be getting to the normal user. Normal user. Here, access and authorization will be there for the users. Access and authorization. Access. What do you in my access? Giving certain certain access, certain policies, certain permissions, kind of things to the user is access. What is authorization? Authorization is nothing but, for example, it's kind of a login kind of thing, a mechanism where. Did you hear you broke? Ah, yeah, now it's okay. So generally, in the mobile, we will have our we will give our fingerprint, right? Yeah. So what is that? Authorization. Okay. Whenever we want to log in, our, our mobile asks fingerprints first. We yeah. just uh, give our finger and we'll log in. I mean, open the lock. So okay. this is, this mechanism uh, will be in this particular IAM one. When we open IAM dashboard, so this is the dashboard, fine? Yeah, it is. So we will learn one by one. We will learn mm -hmm. users, user groups, all policies. So I told, so in this scenario, who is the admin, admin user? Me. This is the admin user. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, the account where we oh. log in, right? The, yeah. When we create initially with AWS. So that is admin, admin user, root user. 
So in this same account, there are different services. What do you mean by AWS services? You certain certain permissions to on AWS services, right? Three, EC2, RDS. So this kind, this kind of permissions we will use for the users. For example, when we in our AWS account, for example, let's say we create a user called we create a user called Raju, for example. For this particular user, if we give EC2 read EC2 access. He can only see the EC2 service. He can't see RDS, SNS, ST kind of thing. Okay. Because the permission only given for EC2. EC2 service. Okay. So in this way, see, when we give permissions to the EC2 only, normally when we create a user, for this particular user, user will get some login uh, console login URL first of all this particular user when we create a user he will get console login URL okay. so we need to log into the AWS account with this particular credentials okay. we, okay. will, we will create a username and password for Raju So we will log in with the Raju credentials and we, Raju can able to see only the EC2, EC2 service. So this is the mechanism where it happens. I will show you practically now. Okay. First of all, we will learn about this user topic. Okay. Okay. So, so I am user is an identity with lots of credentials that is used to interact with the AWS in an account. So, we will add a user first. Add user. What is the username? Raj. Raj. After giving Raju, provide user access to AWS console. Okay, you have to click this. You have to view this. Provide user access to console. Then afterwards, you have to select I want to create an IAM user. Okay. First, you have to click this. Then afterwards, you have to select I want to create an IAM user. Right. Generally, we want to create an IAM user, right? Yeah. Now, so after selecting I want to create an IAM user, there are two types of passwords for the user. Okay. What is auto-generated password? Default, it will create one password. It will create some random... Uh, <coughs> Like this, right? Auto generate yeah. mean like this. Mm -hmm. Or else, what, what is custom? Raju at the rate 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we can customize uh, like what we want. So that's where the customized, custom password we can give like this. Capital R Raju at the rate 1, 2, 3. Let me give that, this password first. Okay. If you mm -hmm. want to give mm -hmm. auto generate, after once you create the user, you will be downloaded the this particular password, random password. Okay. So as of now, we will give customized password. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now we are going to select custom password and give the custom password Raju at the rate one. Next, uh, show password. You can see the password. Okay. 
and password should agree this. Caps small and down. Normal, you know, right? Normal. Yeah, I know. In all form. It should be eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight there. Okay. And we have used one the symbol. Okay. And one okay. upper upper letter case and the normal small letter case. and then numericals also we use. So the password should be combination of these things, right? Okay. Now, what is this user must create a new password at next sign in? So whenever he is this particular Raju account, whenever we are logging with the Raju credentials with this particular AWS account, every time you need to create a password, you have to click this. No, I want, I want to use only this password. Okay, then you have to uncheck this. Okay. Understood? Yeah, got it. For good. example, this time we are logging to the Raju one two three. Again, when you are logging, it will prompt us to create a new password. If you click this, uh, so why again to create a new password? We will give, we will un uncheck this. So click next. So here, as of now, you ignore this, I will tell you, you just create the user first. Okay? Okay. I will explain you these options. Okay. You just click next. Review that Raju, custom password, require password reset. No, right? We didn't select it that. Password yeah. Reset. Okay? Create user. <laughs> Okay, so okay. so you can copy this console link for Raju. Okay, this is the console okay. URL for Raju. You copy here in the notepad, and you know the password, right? You can also okay. copy if you want. Okay, or else you, you have another option. If you forget this password, you can download the CST file. CSE file and I'll show you what is uh, this. Okay. So whenever you download this CSE file. It is an Excel file, normal Excel file, where you have console URL, password details, username details. See this, our username, our password and our console URL. What is the advantage when you when you download this particular thing? You can see the password. You, you normally you paste it in notepad, right? These details. Yeah. What if this notepad goes or else somewhere you, you just remember somewhere you kept if this if this thing you are not saving somewhere in notepad. It is better to download like this. It will be with you only, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Like no. this, if you download any time, if you want the credentials, you can take credentials from here. Okay. So that is our list, okay? I am okay. just uh, written to user list, okay? So this is our Raju user created, okay? <coughs> right? Raju user has been created. Let us open this Raju user. So every time whenever we create a resource in uh, resource in AWS, we create we, we will get this unique identity for that. We get a ARN kind of thing. Okay. This is kind of ID. ID. Okay. ID ID kind of thing. Like ARN we call it as Amazon resource name, resource name. Uh, what is this AWS service? It is IAM service. Okay. This is AWS, IAM, and what is this number? Account, our account. Okay. Mm. This is our account. Okay. And what is this user, right? User run. Okay. Like this. <coughs> so if you create a, a user with Kutika, what will be the ARN normally? ARN, AWS, AWS, AWS AM, in my account number, user, user slash Kutika. Like that normal a random ID will be created. Uh, uh, if you are creating uh, the account in another server, mean for instead of IAM, it will show like EC2. What are the uh, server? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yes, yes, correct. Exactly, exactly. Okay. If you are creating a resource in EC2, here ARN, AWS, EC2, account name, and that service something. Okay. I'll show you the difference uh, for each uh, okay. thing. Okay. This is the created time, 11th August, 10.45, we created, okay? Okay. And we will explain all these things. First of all, what we will do is, we will log in with this Raju user with this AWS account. Okay? Now, we have logged with the admin user, right? Yeah. Now, same account, we will log in with Raju user. How we, are, how we will do that is, we will copy the URL, this is uh, We will go to the control, normal browser I will open here, normal browser. Paste this link here in normal browser. Okay. okay. So whenever you paste this uh, particular control URL, you have routed to mm -hmm. IAM user. Sign in as IAM user. IAM user. We created I IAM user, right? So that's why we will yeah. sign in as IAM user, not root user. IAM user. Okay. Using root in, using root user means you have to type Krutika and password. Right? Okay. In my case, it is Tarin yeah. and uh, my password. I'll show you the difference, right? Sign in as root user. We will get like this, right? Normally, if it sign in with admin root user, I will give Tarsin and next I will give password. Okay. This is the gateway for uh, getting into AWS. AWS. Same same account. Now with IAM user also, we will we log in with the same account but different uh, username. Username. Okay. Username will be changed. Okay. For example, okay. you, you just uh, observe, uh, this is the account ID of our AWS account. Which is ending with 6025, right? Okay, now we will log in with the same account with the Raju user. Here you will see Raju, not Tarzin. Okay. I will show you that, right? Uh, I will click I am user. Okay. Uh, let me go back. This way. We 
will copy this console link paste here what is our what is our user, username raju raju what is the password raju raju at 123 okay sign in same account we are logging okay see at the right corner loading along with the account number uh, yeah so account number is what same but the am user is raj raj okay okay so now what i will do in the same account i will create a uh, i will create a server only only and i will show you the difference how admin user and uh, giving uh, raju a permission and able to see that practical know the practical okay So see, there are two tabs. One is incognito type tab is admin user. So see. Okay. I open here if you see incognito, right? Yes. In incognito, I opened a main yes. account. So see. Okay, and in another in another normal Google, I opened Raj. You you should note this okay? clearly. Okay. Okay. Normal okay. Google. This is normal Google. This is normal Google. This is normal Google page, and I clicked the incognito and I opened this thing. I logged here with the sim. you ignore this i'll teach you how to launch a new server okay <coughs> as of now for this uh, lab i am just randomly creating a server okay? just to show you the difference between the user normal user and admin user okay
Yes, yes. I, it is loading. I'm waiting for that. Uh, no, like uh, I'm okay with that uh, 40 and 42 days class. Okay. Uh, because you already have said uh, 20 days within 20, 25 days we have to complete. But uh, now I'm okay with 40, 42 days class. Ah, no problem. Okay. Because I discussed with my family and friends also. So. Everyone said like uh, if 40 days means uh, it will time will be there so we can learn a lot. 20 within 20 days means for effort we have to learn it will be precious something. That's, That's why, why I increase the hours more. To told right, I am I'm I'm, uh, okay. I'm just keeping myself tight in my schedule hours and I'm just increasing the time period for my thought of that. You got my point. Now I'm okay, bro. It, yeah, yeah. I got it, bro. Because uh, you have to complete those uh, 45 days in 20 days. That's why you are increased. Right? I told that I will take more than 20 days. It's not the like you should complete fast. Yeah. You should gain knowledge. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's. What is this? This is the server, okay? Normal server. Okay. I created a server. I discussed with you, right? Like we we'll host websites in the server. We'll create server. So this is easy to service. You just uh, uh, I'll explain regarding this, but you just see this create this as server, okay? So I'm in as an admin user. I'm able to see the server, right? Oh. We are able. We are able to see the server. Yeah. Let me go go to the Raju user. Now. Yeah. I am in Raju user now. I am opening the EC2 service. I am opening the EC2 service in Raju. EC2. Even this is also easy to service in Tarsin, okay? The same page I am going to, uh, I am going through Raju user. See here, it is Raju. Okay. Just I changing the tabs, okay? This is admin and this is Raju. Okay. Just changing the tabs. Here we are able to see the server, right? In Tarsin account. Admin account we are able to see. Same account. Yeah. This yeah, in admin account that is. No, no, both same accounts only. Okay. Both are same AWS accounts only, but okay, user okay. login is different. That's what I want to tell you. You keep this, uh, you listen carefully. Okay. Both same AWS accounts only, but this is, I logged with the Tarsin user in this right side one. You are seeing my pointer, right? Okay. My, my pointer, you are seeing. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, I logged with the Tarsin user, yeah. user, which is admin user. I logged with the normal okay. user, this left side pointer, I logged with the same AWS account with the normal user, Raju, okay? Normal user. Yeah, okay. now I am in Raju, I am opening the instances part, 
I see whether I'm able to see the instance or not. Instance means server, okay? So we will see whether we are able to see server. the server which we created or not with Raju credentials. Let me change my network, okay? Okay. Are you able to see any instances here? Uh, any server? Okay. No. No, no. But, but, but here in the same EC2 dashboard, in the instances, I am able to see the server from Thalsin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From th in Thalsin uh, credentials, in the admin credentials, I am able to see the server. But, so, when I am yeah. logged with the same account, so this is the same account and this is also same account, but same users account. are different, users are different. With the Thalsin okay. user, I am able to see the server, server. and with Raju user, I am not able to see the server. Okay. Does, make, does it make sense? What I told yes. in the theory part, whenever we give certain permissions, okay, for normal user, when we give certain permissions on the services, then only they can able to view the able, then then he, he, he can able to view the view the service. Okay, now what happened? This particular Raju, we didn't give any permissions to see the EC2. Service. Yes, to service. Yeah. Let me go to the uh, admin account, person. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to the IAM dashboard where we created our user. Oh. If you come down, there is a permission section. Okay. You see here, there is no permissions given for Raju. Yeah. No here, if we add permissions, and give certain permissions on the EC2, then only he can view this person, this Raju user can view the EC2 service. Okay. Currently, there are no per permissions, right? Yeah. Will give, that's why we will give permission policies to the user. Okay. You will get to understand slowly, okay? So don't panic. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let, let us, I'm showing you practical everything. I'm not telling you there. Okay. Add, you click add permissions. Okay, here add permissions. Okay. Now okay. here you see you skip these two, you just attach policies directly. Okay. So now you are going uh, now you are going to create a policy, okay? Now okay. Um, attach policies directly. So okay. we can create our own policies. We can attach policies directly, which was given by AWS. Okay. Redefined uh, policies are given by AWS. AWS. You can directly okay. select them and and uh, create. Okay. For example, let's say I am attaching a policy directly to a user. See see this uh, description. Attach a managed policy mm -hmm. directly to a user. Okay. 
right? Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, this Ratu want to access this service, EC2, right? EC2. Yeah. I will search EC2 in the search bar. Okay. We want to give EC2 full access or an EC2 read only access here. If you see. Okay. What if we give EC2 read only access? He can only he can see. See. He can yeah. only see. He can't yeah. create. He can't delete. He can't do nothing. Yeah. He can't access it. Yeah. Okay. That kind of uh, mechanism will be here. Okay. <laughs> so this, if we select EC2 read only access, this Raju cannot create a server. He can only just view the server. Okay. Now currently Raju. I am in Raju account. We is Raju able to see the server? No. No. Now what? If you want, if he want to see the server, what we have to do? We have to give the read only access for the EC2. EC2. Okay. As of now, we'll give EC2 read only access. Okay. okay. Oh. Come down next. Okay. Add permission. We are giving Amazon read only Amazon EC2 read only access. Read only access. Add permission. Okay. Now adding permission to Raj. One policy added. Right? Okay. Come down slowly. You see, you can see the okay. permission policy for the Raju user. We gave for Raju user. Okay. Now we gave the permission. Now we will go to the Raju console. Okay. Now I am where Raju. Raju. I will refresh this browser once. Now we will see whether Raju can see the server or not. Okay. Able to view that. Now he is able to view the server. So, yeah. Now did you understand the mechanism? What is yeah. IAM? Yeah, it's good. It's good. With, with IAM, what we can do? We can view, create a users. And we can create a certain policies, certain policies to the user, yes. so that he will have certain access to the AWS services. Okay. In the same way, I will show you another example now. You have seen EC2 example. Yeah. So we will show. We will see another service. Okay. Yes, okay. Three. Yes. Now in admin account, I will create a S3 bucket. Okay. Just, uh, just, uh, um, bucket, um, bucket, um, bucket, um, bucket. Okay. Okay. You ignore this. This is just service. We will, we will have separate class for the S3. Okay. Okay. For okay. experiment purpose, I am just showing you. In okay. S3, there will be some buckets. Now, admin, I am admin user. I am able to see the buckets. Some are, some buckets are there. Okay. I am I am switching to Raju user. I will open S3 service. Okay. I am opening S3 service in Raju. Raju. Credentials, not different account. Okay. Same account only, but with Raju permit, Raju, Raju credentials, we log in. in. I open buckets, okay? okay. I am able to see what what they are telling. You don't have permissions to list buckets. But here with Thursday, we are able to see the buckets. Yeah. But with Raju, we are not able to see the buckets. Same account, okay? Same okay, 605. Same. 605. Okay. Same account, Sorry. the user, because the difference is between admin uh, can access, but uh, the user can, if, if he is having permission means, he can able to view that. Absolutely fine. Correct. Exactly. So, I am telling, actually there are two buckets in this particular account. Raju can't see that. I have, see, in, in admin credentials, we are able to see these buckets. 
but with the, when we logged into Raju feed and sons, we are not able to see the buckets. Now, if Raju wants to see the buckets, what we need to do? We have to give a permission in IAM. Exactly. Now you, you understood the definition. Yeah, yeah. Fine. But if you want to give a permission to the user, what we have to do? We have to go to the user. user. First. Add user like this, we have to. No, no, no. I'm not adding user, I'm just want to show you. Okay, the okay. Go to the user section. With your user, which user you want. add, 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 add. Already he has easy to read only access. Now, which fax, which permission we have to give? Uh, S3. S3. For that, I'm adding add permission. Permissions. Simple. All just click. You just click. Easy. 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 Yeah. Easy. It is not big, big task, right? To just click here. This. 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 You need to understand the concept, okay? Okay. What we, okay. What we have to do? Attach, attach, attach. directly. And we have to yeah. search for S3. So, yeah. search S3. S3. In this, okay? In this, okay? In this, okay? In this, we have to select and what appropriate permission we need to give. Search permission we can do, okay? Read only access also there. See, if I give S3 full access, he, can, he has full permissions on the S3 service. No, I, I don't want to create full permissions. I want to give as of now basic Three. permission that is read only access. Next, add permission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See here. Now, this particular Raju user has S3 read yeah. only access yeah. as well. Yeah. Now where we are? What, no. where, we, we, where we did? Where we given permission in which, uh, which your user credentials in admin, admin credentials. credentials? We give. Who, admin only can give the permissions. Okay. okay. Permissions can't give permissions to Tarsin. Tarsin is admin user, and Tarsin only can give permissions to the users. Users. We treat this as principal. Okay. Okay. Some headmaster kind of thing. Yeah. And this is some lecturer. Raju is a lecturer. Okay, professor. Master, professor kind of thing. Now we are giving to this professor, he should only teach social studies. <laughs> Example, in this case, okay. he, he, he have to give, we need to give permission, S3 service. Okay. I am just refreshing. Uh, yes, so let it load. I am refreshing the service. See whether we can able to see the sub buckets or not. Okay. Now? Able to view. Who is this? This is uh, Raju. User. Previously, he is not able to view the buckets in this account. Now, when we give the permissions okay. to read only access, he can able to view. Correct. I am selecting this bucket. Okay, I am selecting this bucket. I am deleting. But because you are not having access uh, permission, right? We can only view, that's why it's not working. Exactly. We gave only read only access. Read only we access. We gave delete, yeah. delete access to this user. Just a normal, he can only view. He can't do anything. He yeah. can't create even. Yeah. I will do some uh, like this, some name I will do. Okay, uh, randomly. Fast forward, I will see. I want to make you understand. Yeah, okay. What is this? Three. Why? Because? Because uh, we didn't give that permission, access permission. What What they are telling? To create a bucket, bucket is three create bucket yeah. permission. Yeah. Is it required? is how we will manage the users. Uh, for understanding purpose, I created this, but in, in depth, I will teach you what is this. Okay. 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 So, okay.
now you understood what is a normal normal user, user. you understood how yes. to create a user yes. how to give a permission mm -hmm. policy to particular songs on particular songs okay. you understood this thing yes yeah. now if if you want to give full permissions Again, we have to go there, and uh, we have to, instead of giving read only, uh, we have to give a uh, full permission. What if I give administrator access? That means he will have the admin power. Admin power. Yeah. Like does it? Does it? Whatever he want, he can do in this database account. Yeah. Like previously, he, previously he was a Raju was a normal lecturer. Now, if I give administration access, he will be promoted to headmaster. Headmaster. Example. Mm -hmm. Now I will not give admin administrator uh, access. Instead, I will give his full access. Okay. Or, or what I will do? I will give S three full access. Okay, I gave Raju S3 full access. You can see that bottom here. See. Yeah. Uh, let us go here. If I delete this, I need to refresh it. Right? Yeah. I select. Oh my God. I select this. Delete. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. What it is telling? You need to de insert. There are some options. Okay. So I am able to delete, right? Some objects yeah. are there inside the bucket. I am able to delete. Mm -hmm. Even I have a uh, uh, Raju. I'm not. I'm not touching. See, not down down. Okay. If I see, I'm a, I'm able to delete. If I just click delete, it will delete. Okay. Okay. But not. I I don't want to delete. I I want this for okay. for my practical purpose. Okay. 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 So you understood how to get order is fine. I will create a. Now you understood the user. We will yeah. we will just uh, and and policy. What is policy? The permissions oh, which you are giving. Yeah. So basically, they are having predefined policies given by AWS, where you can directly select the services here. Here you can type and you can select appropriate permissions directly from here. Okay. okay. Yeah, Amazon is to read only to access kind of thing. Or else you can create a policy. Okay, you can okay. create a certain policy and attach it to the user. Okay. For example, in I am in policy, we will learn what is policy exactly. Create a policy. What it is telling is telling to. So if if you are there are two types. One is visual and JSON. JSON means it's a it's a it's a language where you will have some brackets and you will be having some statements uh, with this kind of thing. Okay. This is resource. Resource means on which service you want to give. Action means. If you want to give uh, list bucket, get bucket, uh, uh, read bucket kind of thing, okay. effect what effect you want to allow or deny. So this is some some uh, critical thing, tricky thing. 
you can i will explain you simply how to do that okay. if you open policy create policy you have to click visual visual means graphical okay. you can directly select this here itself okay i am selecting s3 here okay okay, okay. uh list read this kind of permissions we can give here if i drop down list i can see list to bucket if i select list bucket list to buckets kind of thing i am able to see all the buckets you can use particular policy okay fine uh, we will uh, discuss in depth uh, when you will understand when you create a inlet policy first of all you know to how to add a policy directly that you okay. keep in mind okay. adding a policy directly you, you just select here uh, okay what okay. kind of thing now uh we will we will understand about users first uh, user groups mm -hmm. let's say there is a we will create a user group and we will add the users nothing nothing uh, big tricky here mm -hmm. we will create a group aws and inside that group we will add radu mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so inside this group we will add radu you can add sharer okay raju sharer we can add the users in a group okay so that if we give easy uh, to read only access to this group obviously raju will get that access and sharer will get the tag yes good we will add a whatsapp group and we will add some users in the right generally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the same way, we will create a group, a, uh, some group, and if we give S3 full access to this group, Raju will also get that S3 full access, and Sharath will also get S3 yeah. full access. The users, those who are in that group, they can access. Yes, exactly. So, for example, this aid is this you create it as CSE branch, AWS. If someone Raju go to this branch, then this Raju will have CSC branch and Sharath will be in CSC branch in VTech. For example, he is joining in CSC. So, so this is this Raju will be in CSC and this Sharath will be in CSC. Right? Yeah. Whatever the permission we give to the this uh, group. that permissions will acquire by the users yes. so that is a concept uh, i hope you understood i'll show yeah. you practically as well uh, i'll create a group called a uh, user group group is nothing but collection of users users yeah i am giving the name as aws i want to add normally i'll create a user first a group first okay? i'll okay. not give anything create group Directly. You created group, okay? Fine. Are there any users in this particular group? No. No. Are there any permissions defined for this group? No. 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 Let me open that uh, group first. Mm -hmm. First of all, we will give uh, uh, permissions. Uh, I will add the users to the group first, okay? Okay. I will add the users to. Group. What you have to do for that? Simply go to the yes. go down. See here, A R N. Yeah, we're ID. Okay. Previously here it is user. Now here it is group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Previously it is like user and username. It is group and group name. It's showing. Exactly. Like. Exactly. Okay. Fine. Now uh, I'll go to user. User add. You. Uh, whom we need to add? Raju. Raju and Sharath. We'll add both. 
as of note okay oh. for 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 the example to show you the difference i will add raju and shiva okay i'll add both under this uh, particular aws uh, how many users are there now two users, two users. Uh, before that we will we will uh, delete the user user permissions okay okay what are the permissions we gave in our lab we will delete that first simply select that and remove okay i'm removing removing the policies first okay and even sharat having any policies i remove that as well okay i am going to the group uh, for the group aws there are no permissions i want to give permissions to this group okay. go to the permission section come down add permission attach policies. policies what policies uh, we can create our own policy or else we can give predefined policies select the is it to service service here uh, i click to enter and full access come down add permissions to the group okay policies okay. attached to the user group okay? okay come down and see the for for permissions for the group okay we have amazon ec2 full access okay. i am opening the now here let it be like this okay let it be this console like this one i'll open new tab users new tab i'm opening AWS. Sharad, which group? AWS. AWS. I am opening Raju. And we'll see the permissions. Previously, we deleted the permissions. Okay. okay. Yeah. See here, we okay. didn't add any permissions to the Raju, right? How did this came? Because uh, in group we have added, so uh, Raju can access this permis permission, right? That's why it's showing. Uh, uh, see, attached via group AWS. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Apart from being group access, we can add our own user permissions. Okay. Okay. We can add other user uh, our permissions. See if you go to groups, this particular user is in AWS, AWS. and that AWS group has whoever whoever in AWS group, those users will be getting Amazon Ecosystem access. Yes. Yes. So that's where you will. Uh, where we are? Yeah. What is that access or advisor? Who? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. Access advisor. Uh, no, no. That is a new. Okay. Uh, we learn about security credentials and groups. Okay. So now we have uh, learned how Okay, how to create a group and give permission to the group on particular service. How to 